But one of the other big stories that we're going to talk about, he had a press conference at his own coffee company that I didn't realize he had. Nairo Quintana is not a bike rider right now for any team. Obviously, we know the well, his contract was torn up with Akea Samsic after the Tramadol incident in the Tour de France, which subsequently meant that all his results were annulled. And guys, what do you think about this? All the teams, as you and I have been talking about, have kind of said no one at a time, barring victorious look close. There was rumors Israel start well, Israel Premier Tech were gonna be the the savior, but everyone's kind of just said no, even Saint Perian. No, I'm making that up. I forgot to say that um I thought he hadn't been offered any con like any team had not been in touch, but apparently continental teams have been in touch, like Medellin and another Colombian team, but he doesn't want to race on that level. So he doesn't want to do like Miguel Angel Lopez. He wants to uh, be on the top level. So uh, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just add that in as well because yeah. I thought I was that was say, quite strange. Because I haven't really like been it's looking at it in. too much because I was just like, I, I don't know, because I, I just presumed that he was going to get a contract. But I guess it's, yeah, the whole Tramadol thing because, mm. you know, it, it does prove bring a slight black mark to a team like if if he goes to a team essentially that team is going to be questioned in terms of their ethics and i don't think a team especially in this day and age where doping is still like you know it's still an issue like just in sport in general and i don't think any team wants to be associated with that so they've all just cut themselves off and it's going to require a pro conti team who really wants to step up and is perhaps a little bit more desperate to go and pick him up but I haven't heard of which teams does any of them might be interested well, we had there was a Corotech saga for a while mm. where they followed each other on Instagram and we thought oh it's it's it something's coming and and the, the and the exactly the same couple of days Corotech were announced as a wild card for the Gita sort of out of nowhere we weren't expecting it so then people thought well it's going to happen but then he unfollowed them on Instagram, uh, which which they really gave away that maybe something broke down. But I mean, I've heard from a source that uh, he was very very close to signing with Bahrain, like very very close. However, um, ASO sent out a sort of email or whatever they do communication to teams to tell them not to touch Quintana. Really? Um, yeah. So that's what I've heard. I imagine the ASO sent um, a, a, like or something. That would be very ASO. But they have, but they have such a big, uh, they have s- s- such a big sway in in these races. Yeah. Where I mean, it just saying that that yeah, don't don't go near Quintana. It's probably wow. enough for these teams that that, that that rely on ASO for the Tour de France, rely on for the Pyrenees, all these big headline races for them to say, well, don't really go near him. That opened up a door for RCS, where for those races which Corotech would be invited to, but that 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 doesn't seem to be on the table. Maybe that would open up the door for Pozzo Viva, who's still without a contract. And hasn't formally retired, but in terms of Quintana, it's it's the strangest retirement I think I've seen. Where he's just sort of trying and trying to find somewhere. But this Tramadol case, that's what's going to be the roadblock everywhere he goes, and he's not willing to accept that he might have to step onto the continental level for a while. Maybe, maybe he wasn't willing to to, to accept Corotech level. I don't quite know, but it's it's a shame that this has all happened, and it's come to this point where Quintana is sort of looking a little bit desperate. Hmm. I mean, if he went to Medellin, what a team. Miguel Angel Lopez, <laughs> Nairo Quintana, like Yeah, but do they have the coin for both of them? Uh, wouldn't he like does he need it for one season? He he's I'm pretty sure he's very rich. Yeah, clearly oh, he's, he's, got, got, he's, he's, he's got things. He's got a coffee eat. company. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else got a coffee company here? Uh, but yeah, well, looking at the teams, if we're saying like all the teams that are relying on the ASO, so all the pro-continental ones, Kern Farmer, Iolo Cometa, what's his relationship like with Alberto Contador, Burgos BH? Don't really scream of money. Um, some Burgos are attached to the Buelta, which would be ASO. Oh, true. Yeah, that's true. Iolo Cometa then? Iola, but then I think Iola didn't think would want Quintana. I don't know. It's, it, it doesn't feel like he fits into that squad. It doesn't fit into the mold of Iola Cometa. But I, yeah, I, I thought I thought Corotech was a lifeline there. It seemed like something was maybe going to come of it. But yeah, I think I think we're gonna see um, 
<laughs> the slow sort of dissolution of uh, of Milan, no, of uh, Nairo Quintana, Freudian slip there, of Nairo Quintana in, uh, in the coming weeks. I don't think it's going to be a happy one.